What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Once again, new video. Um, I apologize if you hear the noise in the background doing some laundry. Um, starting everything early today. So, you see the thumbnail and the title on this. You know, California, I mean, Tupac made that song, California Love. And uh, you know what? I actually didn't like that song. He's my favorite rapper. But that's one of the songs I didn't really like. But the question is, why is California so hated? I get a lot of questions from out of state. Um, they ask me if if somebody from whatever state comes to California and you know, will they have a problem? And my, my answer is always no. See, out here in the, in the system in California, um, as long as you conduct yourself like a man, keep your nose out of other people's business, where you're from doesn't matter. Now, um, if you're Rasa, you're going to align with whatever you choose to align with. And then once you make your choice, that's what you're going to stick with, right? But, but where you're from, like I said before, <clears throat> I remember OG from uh, New Mexico. I think I remember a couple of dudes from Arizona. I remember a bottle from New York even, right? And none of them had a problem. Actually, there was two dudes from New Mexico. Johnny Peppers was the one I told the story. He was trying to fight for uh, family visits. Well, he was trying to get us to fight for it. But because of the politics, uh, it couldn't happen, you know. And um, he wound up taking his life. Um, but then there was another OG. <coughs> from new mexico and new Folsom with me and um you know he was doing his thing he was making money on the yard uh and he was just he was doing what everybody else did so you know out here there's never been where oh that about was from that state or what man whack that it, it, it was that's never been a thing um i think because the way california is set up as far as the, the raza at least um it's a business, you know, everything's a business. And if something doesn't need to happen, then why make it happen? It interferes with the money, the income. That's that's pretty damn important, right? <clears throat> On the other hand, um, us out here in California, we hear that if we go to other states, that, that they have a problem with us, right? Um, that they whack us and all that, right? And and I've always thought, like, I mean, it, it, I would think, you know, me personally, if I was to get incarcerated in another state, I know my guards gonna be up immediately, right? But you can't take on a whole prison, so yeah, that's not hard, right? The question is why, though, and I I know I don't have the answers. I'm sure the comment section is going to light up about this topic, right? But I will say this, man. Keeping it honest, keeping it 100% real. Dudes from California do have an arrogance. Dudes from California do have... Uh, have this idea that, for the most part, the other states are soft, I'm old enough to know killers come from everywhere, every shape, every size, every nationality, right? But it's true, man. I mean, you can see it on, on, on social media. But I think it's also like, look at, look at, look at Chi-Town, Chicago. Chicago, all, everybody in Chicago feels like everybody's softer than them. Dudes in California tend to feel the same. So is it? Pride in where you're from, if we really break it down, it's not, right? Because within California, everybody's trying to gun each other down. Within Chicago, everyone is trying to gun each other down. I think that California has, because during the, the crack epidemic of the 1980s, um, the, the, the black gangs of California, the Crips and Bloods, but especially the Crips, branched out to a lot of other states because, um, <clears throat> you know, like a 500 sack 
in LA could make them two thousand dollars in another state because the size of a of a of a dub a twenty rock in LA you could chop that down into four or five pieces in other states and they would they wouldn't even hesitate to pay twenty for it. And so that led to people from California going to other states, moving in on other people's territories and creating some animosity. So in a major way, I think that a lot of the the hatred towards California is self-inflicted. Um, I remember when um, the rapper from Philly came out here and, and, and he unfortunately was killed for his jewelry or whatever he was killed for. And you had the dudes in Philly hot. You know, and you had uh, Pop Smoke come out here and get killed. And people were taking it as if it was a personal attack against their state or their neighborhoods or whatever. But it was just cats in L.A. doing what they do. Cats in California just doing what they do. California is such a huge place. And on the other end, hold on, and then on the other spectrum, you have people that aren't criminals, people that aren't gang members, people that aren't hustlers, people that aren't into criminality that hate California because of the politics of California. So in all in all, I think California is probably the most despised state. <laughs> and uh, again, it's all self-inflicted. Will there ever be any California love? No, there won't. Because like I said, cats in California hate each other. You got in some places, you know, especially in L.A., you have, you have areas of L.A. where damn near every block is a different neighborhood. You know, they might have a couple blocks and then boom, there's a neighborhood. There's another neighborhood that they they beef with and they got there. And I mean. California is a different animal. It is, it is not what it was. Uh, 20, 30 years ago, thankfully. But whenever there's struggle. There's going to be criminality wherever there's struggle, there's going to be hustle. There's always going to be those looking for a fast buck, a fast dollar. And they may start here and they may wind up in a whole nother state. And they're taking that California mentality and that California arrogance with them and creating more enemies for the state of California. I don't know if anybody's really going to be into this video. It was just something that came to my head today because I was thinking about how many times I get asked about stuff from guys from out of state. And I've never been out of state. I've been out of state one time. Went to Las Vegas. Uh, it was around this time last year. Um, but other than, other than that, I, I don't really know anything. Um, I, my plans soon are to travel to many states and whatever countries will let a ex-con uh, convicted of murder into their their country I want to go and see it uh, I want to expand my horizons I've already internally expanded and grown but I want to grow uh, I want to experience other cultures in their natural habitat there I go rambling is a complete different thing but uh, I, I'm, I'm interested to see what the comment section is going to be like man because like I said I, I, I can't lie Dudes from California do have an arrogance about themselves. We used to have our own swag, and it seems like that's out the door. So uh, maybe whoever whoever these youngsters are stealing their swag from, they ought, a little, they ought to pay a little homage to them. With that said, everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them. I'm out.